Hello and welcome back to Fuel to My Lo-Fi. I'm your host, Ai, and today we are back with another TikTok review video. Hello and welcome to Fuel to My Lo-Fi. We explore curious and strange spaces such as the back rooms, liminal spaces, the pool rooms, and more. I'm your host, Ai, Ai and I welcome you to what fuels my lo-fi. Um, I like to just say to everybody, Happy Pride! <laughs> if you celebrate Pride, uh, if you are LGBTQ+, or if you're an ally, I just wanted to say, you know, yay, it's Pride, it's finally Pride. Um, I'm so happy. And so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to just dress up a bit and just celebrate Pride by looking at really cool TikToks and diving into... LARPs. So, you know, on this channel, I've looked at Night Core and Princess Core and Royal Core. Oh, did I? Was it on this channel? I think I have looked at Royal Core. Um, if I haven't, I probably should soon. <laughs> um, now, the reason why I'm looking into LARPs is because I was talking to Julio in the comment section and they were telling me all about how they were so excited to finally be able to participate in their LARP which is in their area where they stay. And so I really, really hope that you had a great time. I hope that the LARP went really well. And if it's ongoing, I hope that it continues to be awesome. I personally have always wanted to do a LARP. Um, the only thing for me is that I'm, as I keep saying, I'm a little princess. So um, if I'm going to go to a LARP, I, I really like the ones where it's, like in the castle, like the Harry Potter one. Um, basically not camping. Like if I have to camp somewhere, I am going to be a bit of a bitch baby about it. I cannot do camp. I don't do camps. I wish I could be like this eclectic, you know, elfin goddess, but it, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I know. <laughs> Deep inside, I like literally feel disappointed in my lack of of talent and ability to be immersed into an immersive experience and like I'm like really frustrated with myself but I just feel like you know it's better for me to admit my limitations and it's better for me to be aware of my shortcomings instead of putting myself in a situation where I could possibly ruin it for everybody because I'm just like totally not able to immerse myself and then everyone's like why aren't you getting into it and I'm like I genuinely can't and I truly apologize which is why I appreciate watching other people do it. I appreciate the talent and the skill of being able to just soak yourself into the moment and just let go of all those inhibitions, inhibitions, inhibi those inhibitions, <laughs> those in inhibitions. I think that's the word. I'm not sure. Um, please fact check me. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's beautiful. And the fact that they go with their friends and they make a whole trip out of it. And so much like how I can't cook strawberry shortcake, but I love it. I can't LARP, but I love it. And so we're going to get into it now. <laughs> Let's dive right in. Hey, I couldn't help but notice thine delicate, unshod foot against the harsh terrain of the festival grounds. Gentle maiden, don't be afraid to let gravity take its course on my stern. Uh, I'm sorry oh. about him. Quite uncouth, am I not correct? Impale me like a steak knife through a hot pork pie! No! Call the town tanner. Use my skin to create the perfect leather for thy fine footwear. This little piggy went to the market, and this little piggy's going on a date with me next week? Guards! Seize this scoundrel. He sketched her without her permission. Presented. I, I was just recreating your likeness. Presented. I was creating your likeness. Well, presented. I just recorded your presented. likeness. Presented. I'm gonna finish it. There's more. Oh my god. Well, it was really nice getting to know you a little bit. Well, my lady, I think we're gonna be going. It was an honor. We'll see you. My we'll shoe. See you in the my shoe. <laughs> my lady. <laughs> Let's start with that one. Excuse me. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> wow. I wonder what Renfair is like. 
clearly it must be wonderful if there's so many like gentlemen <laughs> accosting me when I get there. Wow, <laughs> what a way to make me feel like a milady. <laughs> There is one question I get asked a lot that I find very difficult to answer, and that is, what is LARP? It stands for Live Action Roleplay, and in its essence, it's an interactive, collaborative experience that lies somewhere between cosplay, improvised theatre, and a medieval battle sport. The game runners create a world, and it is your job as a player to create a character that belongs in that world. You create a costume, backstory, personality, and ambitions, and then you go and live as them. Sometimes for a few hours, and sometimes for a few days. You do quests and adventures as them. Sometimes you fight as them. And you make memories and experiences as them. All while interacting with the game itself and with other players, each of whom have their own character and their own story. Genres can vary differently across LARPs. I've played a Viking on the front lines of a war, an assassin, even a zombie apocalypse survivor and a reporter in the Wild West. I made this channel to document my journey and the skills that I have learned in LARP along the way. I've done things that I never thought I could and learned things I never thought I was capable of learning. And along the way, I've made some pretty incredible memories and some pretty incredible friends that I will be lucky to say that I can take with me for the rest of my life. So, as a second purpose of this channel, I would like to encourage you to start your LARP journey. After all, adventure is right around the corner and you never know what you're going to find. Okay, so yeah, after watching that, I really feel like this is exactly what I was talking about in the beginning. You go out there, you have a literal adventure, and you experience a whole new world with all these personas and all these characters, and you have a whole storyline and an arc, and it sounds so amazing. It really does. It sounds beautiful. Um, I just don't think I could personally do it, but that's also why it's so interesting and it's so exciting to follow people's journeys, because they did it, and they made an amazing tale out of it and yeah i can't wait to see what's next ah sir tristan ah survival hey before we do this do you want to take it up into the mill race i think it'd look super cool if we did our fight up there did the whole thing oh yeah that, that'd, be, that'd be cool yes for sure. all right come back oh, 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 hold on oh. okay oh oh all right, ready? Yeah. Oh, oh. This, oh. This this is not safe. Let's let's yeah. go back down to the. All right. Yeah. I, I agree. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's try this again. Ah! Uh -huh. Ah! Sabors. Gentlemen, prepare yourselves for death. No, sir. It is you who shall be slain. Uh, before we start, do we want to go up on the mill race? Oh no, we already tried that. It doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, dangerous. Total disaster. It's unstable. Wibbly wobbly. Yes. Yeah. No. Uh, not all right. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Sir Tristan. Well, I'm so glad that they take safety into account. That is so important. I mean, it's good to be immersed, but it's also not good to jeopardize or endanger yourself or the p people that you're part of, like the group and everything, and experiencing the LARP with. So th that's really good. I'm glad that there's safety. I, I thought when you're totally immersive, you wouldn't think about things like that, but I'm glad that that is still taken into consideration. And their outfits are amazing. The sports look so real. I want, are the sports real? Oh, that is so cool. And their capes, they all have capes. So cool. I love it, I love it. My LARP community has band guns, which are toy props that fire rubber bands. We have both oh. band rifles and band pistols, all of which have to be completely safety checked and inspected before wow. every event that you use them at. Okay. The basic structure is a barrel that you pull oh a rubber gosh. band over and some kind of trigger mechanism oh for releasing gosh. it. They're completely safe and illegal by Australian standards, where it's very difficult to get a license for any kind of weapon at all. We chose these okay. over the alternatives because Nerf bullets are very hard to feel, especially if you're wearing armour and layers of clothing, and gel blasters aren't mm -hmm. legal in our state. Honestly, getting hit with them hurts less than getting hit with a LARP arrow, so you're definitely not going to catch me complaining. My LARP community okay. has banned guns. Whoa, right, yeah, when you do LARP, you get hit by swords, 
and arrows and band guns. No, 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 no. It's not really for me, but it is definitely for them. Look at the intricacy on that vest. Look at that. It's so gorgeous. And the knitted, like, overcoat thing is so cozy. And those guns look, like, really real. So interesting the way they, ah, the way they integrate, like, toy props. But they also make strategic choices to make sure that they look realistic and are fitting the overall aesthetic. So cool. I love it. That one friend who did not get the memo that it was <laughs> Yeah, I would be that one friend. I would 100% be that one friend. I will come entirely pastel pink and I'll be like, yep, so um... This is just a short trek through the woods, right? And they're like, no, we're actually going to go hunting. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait in the sunny meadow. Bye. <laughs> Love it. a simple human girl who likes the human things like bread and complaining all the time. No, you're an elf. Fine, I'm an elf. Just a simple... <gasps> human girl yes the ears the ears oh, likes the human is... things like bread and complaining all the time no you're an elf Fine. <sighs> i love i love elf ears and they have even put like earrings in the ears yes and the way they've done their hair i love it i love it I love everything about this outfit and the ears and the hairstyle. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Cups are a big part of Ren Faire culture. I had no idea until I went the first time and noticed that, wow. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at these outfits. Wow. They're so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. The attention to detail, the tassels on the shawl, the little froggy knitted hat, and then the frog mask, and then the ears. Oh my god, Whitten Fairy. Oh, it's so perfect. And then their friend behind them is just like this lilac dream with hydrangeas crowning their head and beautiful multicolored tassels falling down their body. Huh. So pretty. Everybody has really cool cups here. They become a part of your character's outfit. And I wanted to draw right, we're fun, talking cups. so I decided to get a cup wow. from Ravensmiths. You get wow. to choose what wooden cup you'd like. And then... Whoa, really? You get to choose your cup? And look at these handles. These are handles, right? They look like they're like custom hammered together. Pick a handle. A blacksmith puts it together for you. And ta-da, a one-of-a-kind cup with... Wow. You know what I think? I think if I was to join a LARP, I would just go there just to buy stuff. I'm just going to go down just to buy stuff. I'll dress up. I'll look really cute. And I'm just going to buy shit. <laughs> no, run away after that. <laughs> the lifetime warranty. Now all I have to do is enjoy a drink. Cups are wow. a big part of Renfrew. I love it. I love it. By the way, I love their outfit. This little circular glasses. Yes, please. The light hits in a certain way kind of looks like crescent moons and that's so lovely and they are also an elf i just realized there are two little elf ears sticking out of their beautiful auburn hair ah beautiful my room wasn't fitting my fantasy aesthetic so i changed it wow my room beautiful they did such a great job Wow, and their outfits are gorgeous, and their room is amazing. Can you imagine sleeping there every night, just like immersed in the fantasy of living in a forest? Oh. That is really cool. I really thought that, but yeah, now that I look at it, yeah, um, it is like a boot 
but oh my gosh it reminds it sorry it reminds me of you know those high heel shoes that don't have a heel at the back is it like that but they really look like they have goat goat legs it's so awesome and like the way that they've created this like faux fur pants oh my gosh they really look like a fawn it's a beautiful beautiful outfit <laughs> Arching it up this weekend. <gasps> this is so cool! Oh my god, and this is exactly the reason why I will never laugh. That is entirely the different situation to meet in real life. You see this here? That is amazing. This outfit, this demeanor, the whole immersive experience. Beautiful. Can you imagine meeting them in battle on the field? No, 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 no. <laughs> that is terrifying. Oh my gosh. They are so perfect in the depiction of an orc. Look at the orc in the background. Both of them are menacing. Both of them mean business. And the weapon is so awesome. It looks like it's made out of stone and it's been cut down to pieces. And the texture of the leather, the buckles and the bindings. And is that like hide literally woven into leather? I wonder if it's faux, is it real? Doesn't matter, it's so cool. Wow. <laughs> really amazing. <laughs> Okay, and on that note, I think I will end things here. I love this whole selection of cool, interesting costumes, adventure-esque, place, picturesque places, and just, I don't know, I think this is another reason why I was so excited to review this during Pride Month. Just this ability to just be authentically you by just being whoever you want to be. I believe that you should just be who you are authentically, however it is that you can safely. Safety is key, safely. Um, yeah, so for those who are going to be LARPing, who are LARPing or who intend to LARP in the future, I wish you guys the very, very best. Um, I really have been looking to find Julio's stuff. I would totally share his stuff. Uh here but i just keep looking and i can't find it i don't know why i suck at looking for things on the internet but yeah you know if any of you want to share your larp experiences if you do larp or you want to suggest any people or content creators or accounts that you think i should check out and maybe review in the future please let me know in the comment section below because i'm very green and i'm also a bystander <laughs> As I have said explicitly throughout this video, reasons why I probably won't do it, but I will forever love it. Um, yeah, I would love to see more content like this and I would love to review more content like this. So do let me know in the comment section below what is your favorite LARP experience or character or thing to do. And I'm excited to read all about that stuff in the comment section below. Ah, okay, um, as always, may your days be magical, my little goodnight kitties. I hope you're having a really great pride. Ah, pride, 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 pride. And I'll see you in the next time. Bye-bye.